Hello, I'm Mike Kazarek, NASA's Associate Administrator for Space Technology. What exactly is space technology? At NASA, it's many things. In essence, it's developing the vital technologies and capabilities we need to send robots and astronauts to deep space destinations, including Mars. Space technology is developing revolutionary, high payoff technologies that NASA needs to explore beyond low Earth orbit. But our efforts also have huge impacts right here on our home planet. We're building, testing, and flying the technologies of the future, a future we want you to be a part of. There's no better time in our nation's history than now to be a student in a science, technology, engineering, or mathematics, or STEM field. Aerospace companies, large and small, are designing, building, and launching a new generation of space hardware, ranging from innovative small space science satellites to larger cargo and crew space launch systems to support the International Space Station. There are exciting opportunities for jobs and the potential for you to help drive U.S. competitiveness by generating new ideas and industries. Space technology at NASA has played a key role in contributing to the nation's innovation economy and you can too. Through NASA's involvement in the President's Advanced Manufacturing Partnership and the National Robotics Initiative, as well as through partnerships with universities, international organizations, and other government agencies, space technology is building the technologies needed for tomorrow's missions, and we need your help. In 2013, our small spacecraft technology program selected 13 university teams to help transform small spacecraft, some weighing only a few kilograms, into powerful but affordable tools for science and space exploration. And this work could lead to new capabilities like miniature radio and navigation devices, low power laser communications, radiation tolerant computers, and electric propulsion for deep space missions. Start. The maiden launch of the Orbital Sciences Antares rocket carried three small payloads into orbit for a technology demonstration project known as PhoneSat. These satellites, each 10 centimeter per side, were likely the least expensive satellites NASA has put into space, under $10,000 using commercial off-the-shelf smartphones. Building off of our earlier success, our PhoneSat 2.4 payload also successfully deployed and sent its first transmission. We're also funding the X1 robotic exoskeleton through our game-changing development program. This 57-pound robotic device will be used as an in-space exercise machine to supply resistance against leg movement for astronauts. The same technology could also be applied here on Earth to help people with disabilities to begin to walk again. This is the kind of high payoff return on investment NASA is proud to give back to America and the world. And it's only possible because we're tapping into the nation's best and brightest minds to be game changers in the world of technology. NASA technologists have developed a system of climbing legs for the International Space Station robotic crew member Robonaut 2, or R2. The leg system is intended to help R2 assist crews with both intravehicular activities and extravehicular activities, or spacewalks. We're also developing a technology demonstration mission that will use green propellant to replace extremely hazardous and toxic fuel like hydrazine. These new green-friendly fuel thruster systems will provide increased performance and safer and more efficient handling and loading. We're completing the SunJammer solar sail, the largest ever tested in space. In collaboration with the California company Lagarde, this technology will be used for space weather monitoring and propellantless deep space exploration applying the same majestic sail technology used on seafaring ships to send spacecraft into deep space. NASA also selected 10 university-led proposals for the study of innovative early-stage space technologies that address high-priority technical needs to enable America's future missions. These one-year grants from our Space Technology Research Grants Program are worth about $250,000 each, with an additional year of research possible. Selected proposals address technology challenges that may improve astrophysics, scientific instruments, oxygen recovery for space life support systems, cryogenic propellant storage for long duration space exploration, or identification, characterization, and protection 
from near-Earth asteroids. To date, space technology has engaged U.S. universities and academic institutions with approximately 400 activities, including fellowships, direct competitive awards, and through partnerships with NASA centers and commercial contractors developing and demonstrating technology. We are truly excited about these opportunities to work with university students, researchers, and faculty from across the country. We're helping to solve today's technology problems in space and here on Earth for the future. We want to invite you to become one of the thousands of technologists and innovators working on the nation's toughest challenges, creating a new capability and a new pipeline for innovation. By pushing the boundaries of technology and innovation with your help, NASA and our nation will remain at the cutting edge of space exploration for a long time to come.